SpaceX set to test launch its Starship rocket, uh, part of Elon Musk's hopes to send humans into Mars. Um, they're fantastic pictures, aren't they? Uh, let's talk to our science and technology editor, Tom Clark. Uh, Tom, this is the third time they've tried to get this particular combination of, of right. rocket booster up into uh, space. There's been... How promising is it looking? Well, you know, they've, they've they learned a lot. The way this company works, SpaceX, it's very much try it, see it fail, learn from that. This is the third attempt. They've made some adapt adaptions, modifications on the design since it failed last time. They think a filter got blocked, blocking the oxygen flow, some of the engines overheating, something went wrong. They fixed that. They're hoping this time to get Starship, which is the 50 meter tall uh, spaceship on top of this huge booster rocket. It's 120 meters tall. It's taller than the Statue of Liberty, uh, including its base, uh, into orbit and splash it down safely in the Indian Ocean. They're hoping to get the booster back down in one piece as well. That would be a huge result because that's a lot further than they got last time, which was both booster and spacecraft had to be uh, uh, self-destructed before they came back down to Earth because of various failures going on. But they, they say they're learning each time. They'll be wanting to see the learning they implemented make this a more successful launch. But this is a space launch. Anything can go wrong. We're coming up to 40 seconds. So they may pause at 40 seconds because they're a bit worried about the wind. But yeah. let's see let's if listen they continue. In and, and, and hear what they're saying because right they, they're pretty interesting listening. Any other technical issues that could proceed us. past our Kitty Van Gate? Through the QD vent gate past the 40 second hold. Flight director Ty Huntington telling the team we are go for launch. So 20 seconds to go. Let's listen in. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, seconds into flight we are feeling the rumble we are seeing 33 out of 33 raptor engines ignited on the super heavy booster booster and ship avionics power and telemetry nominal acquisition of signal corpus christi we're continuing to get good call outs our trajectory Matthew. looking nominal systems looking nominal just amazing to see all 33 lit up once again At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure, and passing supersonic. So we're now moving faster than the speed of sound, getting those onboard views from the ship cameras. Now, the, the next major milestone is going to be a hot staging maneuver. Again, we're going to be doing that in just about 90 seconds. To do that, we're going to shut down all but the three center Raptor engines on Super Heavy. That'll be our Miko, our most engines cut off. And then the clamps holding the two stages together are going to release. Starship second stage will ignite its engines, the RVACs first, the sea levels right after that. The sea level engines will be splayed or just kind of pointed out at about a 15 degree angle. So if you look close and we get good tracking, you might be able to see those center right after. And so those six engines will push Starship off of the booster. All right, counting down now, we're gonna be coming up right at around the three minute mark on that hot staging maneuver. Again, we'll see the booster engines start to shut down. You'll see all but three lights go out in the middle. And then we'll see the engines ignite on ship, pushing it away. 
and that will start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip and then move into the boost back burn, setting it up for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Hot staging confirmed. Boosters now making its way video. back, yeah. seeing six engines ignited on ship. Kate, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Oh man, uh, I need a moment to pick my jaw up from the floor because these views are just stunning. Uh, these are live views from Starship. Uh, first stage is currently performing. The ship boost avionics, power and telemetry nominal. Good there, news informing us that the second stage or the ship, everything looking good, nominal there. First stage is currently performing the boost back burn, expecting that to last about one minute. That boost good back burn, nominal. Uh, that boost back burn propels the booster back towards the coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're uh, only using the super heavy boosters, 13 center engines from here on out. Uh, as whenever they relight, you'll be able to see that in the left bottom corner. Uh, those are the ones that can gimbal. In other words, they move and change direction uh, in order to change the thrust to steer the first stage back to Earth. Well, they were talking about lifting their jaws up off of the floor. Wow, we were just exactly the same in the studio. Yes. I mean, Tom, you just think, you know, you think back to those first pictures of Man on the Moon and you just think, oh, here we are, sitting at work, watching this rocket take off live, watching the curvature of the Earth live from a rocket. Yeah, you think about the technology and improvements that had to be to build rockets like this, but you're also seeing the cameras, you know, the, the ability to have live footage from the from the, the both the booster and the spaceship itself in real time. We saw the booster separate there and begin its journey back down. But yeah, just to sort of sum up, they've got a lot further now than they did in their second flight test. They are well underway. We're, what, there's two things happening at the moment, really, that are really important to SpaceX and the financial viability of this whole project. They want to see the booster make its way back down to Earth. So that was the big thing that's that dropped the big off thing in the lifted up that's dropped And that successfully launched, they were saying that 33 of the 33 engines were engines firing worked. before there'd been a positive. problem. Not all the yep. engines were working. There were problems with um, the filter systems from the engines. So that's worked. They want to see it now perform, light up just a few of those engines to slow it down to form a braking maneuver over the Gulf of Mexico to prove that it could, if they got the landing right, land itself. Because reusability is the whole purpose of this design. They're not actually going to try and recover it. It's going to splash down, but they want to demonstrate it's capable of making that maneuver. Then this um, uh, Starship itself is now in orbit. It's now flying on its way around the Earth towards the Indian Ocean. And they want to perform a number of uh, investigations while it does that. They want to try and open and close its doors, because that's the payload that it would be using to release engines, satellites circles, or one day possibly take engines, people uh, onto other planets. They need to the, demonstrate uh, they can operate the payload doors. They also want to shift here, some fuel from one end of the spacecraft to the other while they're in orbit. No one's ever uh, refueled uh, a spacecraft in space before, and it's key to the plans that SpaceX have for this heavy booster and its Starship, to be able to show you can transfer fuel between two Starships to fuel missions onto the Moon or Mars in future. So opening the doors and transferring fuel, neither of those things I've done before. Not the, yeah. the doors haven't Not been by opened. by SpaceX or by anybody. Not well, the space shuttle, remember, that used to go into orbit and open payload doors yes. and let things out, but they need to demonstrate that's possible here. This fueling, fuel shifting maneuver, that's not been done. Here on the left side of your screen, we can see the booster coming back down over the Indian Ocean, as on the right, Starship continues its orbit towards the Indian Ocean. It's coming back through the clouds. It's, it's coming back down through the clouds. As you can see, on the bottom left of the screen, there's a little symbol showing the uh -huh. engines. We can't see it on the sky screen. We can't, we can see it here in the right. Screen. It's wiggling its flaps to try and control its attitude. It wants to try and come in end first, tail first, firing some of its boosters, which is happening. So it looks to me like it's currently going to plan bringing that booster back down. Um, and to make it that far to demonstrate the controlled re-entry up to that point is pretty darn good. Ship yep. continuing to look nominal with its... So we think we think that's come down, it's, we're not sure. That, that would have splashed down, uh, yes, zero altitude, minutes, yes, it's total. hit the ocean now. It was, but it did 
It managed to get itself in the right orientation. We'll get a readout on how successful that was. But yep, Starship is still on its way. Uh, and that will be good news. And it's going to be about a 25 minute journey to over the Indian Ocean, during which time they'll be trying to perform those experiments that they've set themselves before it comes down, splashes down in the ocean.